Hello everybody, Neil here from the Four Corners and welcome to a Ninjago 2021 information and thoughts video. Today's video was actually supposed to be a summary video of everything we know about Ninjago 2021 so far and I thought that would be useful because there's so much information coming out for Ninjago 2021 so rapidly that a lot of people might find it hard to keep up with all this stuff. I myself have a hard time making sure that I'm not missing out on anything important and there's two reasons I'm not making this summary video right now. One is because I'm way too excited to get my thoughts in order and actually record a video and I'm pretty sure it's like that for a lot of you Ninjago fans out there. My second reason to why we're delaying a recap video is because I want to wait for the Overlord Dragon to come out and then talk about all this stuff. So with all that being said, let's get into the main topic talking about why this is LEGO's most expensive season to produce. I don't mean from a customer's perspective to buy the sets, I mean from LEGO's perspective to actually produce and make the molds for these sets. And a lot of that money is really going into the production of the minifigures for this wave. Let's start off with the Season 14 Ninja themselves. The Ninja team usually have a common mask that's recolored for each Ninja, but this season it looks like they're each getting their own specific mold. As of right now, it looks like they each get their unique headband with their own hair and a headband on that. At first, I thought they would just print the headbands on like they did for Superstar Rock and Jay, but it looks like they're taking the expensive way out of this. Adding that to the normal expenses that we usually get with each new season like the new armor pieces and new designs for the bad guys, season 14 seems pretty expensive. And we haven't even started on Legacy for 2021 which is a whole different story. First of all, if you look at the preliminaries for the $10 battle sets, on the top left it looks like it's a Blacksmith Kai figure. This is pretty revolutionary because Blacksmith Kai was one of the first minifigures to ever appear in the Ninjago TV show and to get that figure really means a lot to many fans. But if this trend continues with all the other $10 battle sets, that means we're getting four new minifigures for each $10 battle set, which in and of itself is already very expensive. Now let's move on to the actual box sets. We're getting one exclusive Golden Ninja with each Legacy 2021 set, and we don't know if each of those suits are going to have a new mold, but we know for a fact that all of them are going to have specific prints. And also combine that with the new ghost villains we're getting and the elemental masters that we're getting in the Tournament of Elements set and you have a pretty expensive minifigure line. I can't tell if LEGO's making any specific molded pieces for any of these sets but I can tell that this season is gonna have fantastic minifigures. Maybe even the widest variety of minifigures we've ever gotten in the history of Ninjago. So if you're big on minifigures then Ninjago 2021 is definitely for a person like you. I myself am very excited to see how all of this turns out. Comment down below which figure you'd like to see the most. To me I really want to see season 14 Loyan and how he turns out as he is the main character of season 14 and I'd feel like he'd look the coolest out of the bunch. Thank you for watching this video on how Ninjago 2021 is the most expensive production year for LEGO and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!